coming up here. Oh, Ooh, Harv's ain't going today. No. I might have to switch my day to Thursdays, huh? There you go. Thursdays like a pretty good day. <laughs> so when, Let's you do go, it. when you go up against a guy like Drew Brees, is it the same kind of a challenge as when you're going up against a uh, Tom Brady, Peyton Manning? Oh yeah, yeah. oh yeah, he's definitely there in, uh, in, in the lead class of, of those type of quarterbacks. Uh, he's proven himself, you know, even at San Diego before he even got to uh, New Orleans. And uh, just, just, just watching him play the game, you can tell that he understands the game, you know, inside and out. And he loves the way, and he loves he loves to play the game. And it's, it's, it's always good to see. I, I've always been a fan of Drew, and oh, yeah. great, I'm great, great, great respect for him. And he has that team playing on a very high level as well. Did the defense learn anything in the second half against Houston? What you guys learn specifically? Some 99 yards against the Ravens really has never been under. What we learned is that if if you if you catch the ball, you close people out. If you don't, you don't. Bottom line you know, is. In this, in this business, either they're going to make a play or you're going to make a play. The game will never change. And when it's said and done, either you're going to be in the win column or you're going to be in the loss column. Everything else, you know, that's what that's what coaches for, that's what meetings for, that's what all that other stuff for is to come and critique this or critique that individually. You know, but I, when, when it all settles, if you can pull out victories like that in a hostile environment like that, I mean, I know a lot of teams would, would love to trade spots where, where we are right now. And, and – Man, that's kind of what I preach about with this journey that we're on. So I think the learning lesson is that we went down in a hostile environment and came back with nine wins. How big is momentum, especially this time of year, going into what you hope is a is a you know a playoff kind of run there? I just think momentum is. I, I just think it's everything because momentum is what builds confidence. And once you get that on your side, then it don't matter what you go through or how you go through it. You know, and, and I think that's the thing that if you watch our our ball club, what we've been through all year. We've been through the ups and downs, and, and after every loss, you know, one, one, one beautiful thing that we've came back, that we've came back and bounced back the next week and won. And I think we're probably the only team in the NFL to do that right now. And, and that, that, that just shows that, you know, we don't hold our heads down over anything. And we got enough veteran guys on this ball club who understands that it's always, it's always on to the next one. It ain't about harping over a win or loss or what your stats was or what this was. It's about but did you get it done? If you got it done, move on. If you didn't get it done, correct the things you got to correct, and then let's get better for next week. Ray, one of the things people always see you doing before a game is talking to your team and in your defense. Is it rare to see when you see a guy like that doing that for his team, an offensive guy, kind of get his team fired up? I mean, I, I think it's rare when you go on the lead because you kind of barely see it. You, know, you, you, you hardly see uh, an offensive player do it. But then if you see the kind of rhythm that they do have, you kind of understand why. You know, it's a, it's a nice little, you know, chant they have. I think mine is, uh, it, it used to be a chant, and, and it kind of is more of just, you know, saying certain words that mean something, you know, towards us. And I think it's the same thing that they have. So, I mean, it, it is rare, but a couple of guys do it, and Drew does a great job doing it. Could bad weather play a factor? I mean, do you, would, it, would it matter if the weather's lousy on Sunday? I, you know what? I mean, you, you're talking about a dome team, right? and, and that, you know, says enough by itself. And, uh, you know, coming into that environment, I think bad weather plays a part no matter who it is out there playing. Uh, because if it's, if it's windy, if it's snowy, you know, throwing becomes a problem. Uh, unless you're a certain team that you can play in any type of weather. But I just think overall, you know, we're bringing a dome team out of that dome into an environment that could be cold, crazy, and very loud in Baltimore, I think that can definitely play a factor. Most teams in the league can't adjust to their opponents week by week, but the Ravens are able you know, to do that. How much of a confidence knowing that y'all can adjust to any type of team, whether they pass it or run the team? I think one of the credits to that is us being able to, to really bounce to any team week in and week out is that we kind of stick to what we do regardless. And so, you know, Sometimes it, it works against people tremendously, and then sometimes it doesn't. But if you, if we can always stick to our guns and who we are, what our identity is, then it always falls back in our hands one way or another. And that's the thing that I've kept up with, you know, throughout the years of being here, of just understanding that that it ain't about the opponent; it's really about us, and it's about us executing and get done what we're trying to get done. I know that John, uh, John Development, he's a big admirer of yours. Have you had any conversations with Vilma during this course this week? Vilma? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I've had conversations with Vilma, not just this week. Uh, he actually texted me this week, which is surprising. <laughs> but he, uh, uh, you know, we we talked through the course of the year, you know, about certain teams that he was going to play against, and you know, what did I see, and things like that. And, and that's a, and that's a couple of them. That's a couple of young backers that 
I go around the league and talk to him like that. But Vilma has always been one of those ones. And he's always been one of those ones since at the University of Miami. I, I got in touch with him way back then. And we've always kept in contact no matter, you know, where he's you know, traveled to. And, and now, so we keep in contact even more. And now he really has become a, a real student of the game. So we talk about, you know, the things that I see, the things I don't see, what I what I would do in the situation, that situation. But he ain't called me this week, so I'll probably get on him about that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks, All right. Ray. Thanks, Good. Ray. Good. Good.